Hey guys, this is Vadim with MaxTech, and this right here is the Apple Watch Series 5. And today, we're gonna be comparing all the little differences to the Apple Watch Series 4. All right, so let's get this thing unboxed. Take all this off, don't need that. Okay, so, take off these flaps. And it looks like we're getting the same presentation as last year. We've got the band right here. It's always a little bit of pain to get off. Whoop. And we have this nice little fabric. Woo. On the outside, I'm not seeing any differences so far. And if I just put it side by side, it looks to be basically the same. So taking a look at both of these cases, I literally cannot find any difference. By the way, this is the gold stainless steel on both of these, the Series 4 and the Series 5. And now let's unbox the band right here. The same band, the same color as before, just upgrading to Series 5, and I'll tell you guys why in just a minute. All right, so we're in the pairing, and let's scan this code. Come on, there you go. But man, I've gotta say, both of these look really good. Definitely go with the chain link band. Looks amazing with the stainless steel. So the Series 5 is now set up and I have them both side by side and the display is off on the Series 4, but you guys can probably tell that the Series 5 has the always on display. Now watch as I tap both of them. Now you get the bright white on the Series 5 and when you turn them off, it turns to black. You just get a very dimly lit watch face so you can see the clock all the time, which is really, really amazing. I know a lot of people really wanted just one feature and that one feature was the always on display. So you can't really get mad at Apple for not changing that much because this one thing alone is gonna get a lot of people to upgrade or people to switch back to an Apple Watch just for the always on display. So I'll just do this a couple more times for you guys so you can see the difference and obviously, it's a lot more convenient to be able to see this information. Here's another one that looks to be newest, the gradient watch face. So what it does is basically you have the seconds, minutes, and the hours, and there's this little shadow that moves. Even though there's not an arm for the seconds, it's actually pretty cool because if you look at it, it gets really, really dim, but you can still see it when it turns off. We got all these different colors that we can switch between. Really cool, turquoise. You can change the style. Let's see. Oh wow, look at that. That's really cool. Full screen, circular. Here's another one, it's called the Meridian watch face, and I think this is probably one of my favorite watch faces. It just looks so classy, classic, especially with the always on display. And you can change the dial color from black to white. And now we can change the colors of the text, which is really cool. You can see it in the complications right there. And finally, you can change up and adjust the complications. There you go. That is a really cool watch face. You also get modular compact, so you have this nice little layout which is perfect for weather and other complications that show more things on the display. And let's customize it. You can change it from digital to analog, which is, I think, pretty cool. And we can change the uh, color. I like this large section for the complications because it shows a lot more than the small ones. So yeah, definitely a really cool watch face. So obviously the main selling point of the Series 5 is the always on display. So you'd think that because it's always on that it uses up a lot of battery life and you're gonna get worse battery life than the Series 4, but that's actually not true because Apple did some trickery in there and they increased the battery life. Basically what they did is they allowed the screen to refresh from 60 hertz down to one. So because of that, it's saving a lot of battery life and they may have also increased the battery size as well. So what you can actually do is you can go into the settings and you can turn off the always on display if you want to. Most people probably won't, but as you guys can see right here in the display and brightness settings, you have the always on options right here that you don't have on the Series 4 and you have the options to hide sensitive complications. So if there's any complications with uh, calendar appointments, messages, or anything like that, it's not gonna show it when it's off so nobody can sneak and look at any sensitive information. So you can turn that option on. And right here, you can turn off, always on. And let's just get out of there. And as you guys can see, it starts to act just like the Series 4. And at this point, it's almost identical to the Series 4, except because the always on display is now off, you actually might see a lot more battery life. But I am gonna go back and turn it on because 
it's awesome. All right, so let's say you're using an app and you don't touch it for a few seconds. What's gonna happen is that instead of turning off, it's actually gonna fade to darkness and the clock is gonna appear. So as you guys can see, the time, 340 just popped up instead of turning off. And if you tap back, it goes back into the app instead of being the watch face. Now, if you let that happen and you turn it off, it goes back to the watch face. And within the new Meridian watch face, we actually have the brand new Compass app that comes exclusively to the Apple Watch Series 5. I don't know how many people are gonna use it. Maybe if you're adventuring in the wilderness, but other than that, there's really not that much use for it to be completely honest. Let's see what happens when we uh, allow it to turn off. So as you guys can see, it kind of fades back. The time pops up just like that and comes back. So in all reality, unless you really, really, really care about the always on display, there's really no reason to upgrade. I think the processor is actually basically identical to the one in the Series 4. There's not that much different. It's just that always on display and the brand new watch faces. Other than that, there's really no reason to upgrade, guys. So thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, click that circle above and make sure to check out some of those other videos right there. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.